Have you ever heard of the term, if the shoe fits? Well, a TikToker certainly learned that phrase the hard way. A TikToker named Chosen World was exposed after he wore the exact same shoes in a video of him dancing that he also used for an armed robbery. Well, he didn't use the shoes to rob someone, but he definitely used them to run away, that's for sure. For the past three months, businesses across the metro Detroit area have been plagued by a serial armed robber. He was always wearing a very similar outfit as well. It consisted of a black hooded sweatshirt, black pants, black ski mask, black skeleton gloves, white neck Nike sneakers, and a black backpack with pink flowers. Now, FBI agents in Detroit believe that this TikToker sneakers matched the description of the robbery suspect that I just mentioned. According to the Detroit News, they obtained a criminal complaint that says the crime spree started on December 1st when the suspect rushed into a 7-Eleven and held the employee at gunpoint before running out with the money that he had just stolen. Then on January 13th, a man dressed in a similar way rushed into a Marathon gas station in Dearborn, pressed a handgun into an employee's back, and then demanded money. This time, he also stole an 18 pack of cigars, but ended up leaving behind a clue that helped tie him to a future robbery. On this occasion, he had accidentally dropped a bullet near the counter. Just 13 days later, the same 7-Eleven was held up again by a man wearing the exact same outfit and making similar demands for money. The FBI task force officer wrote in their report, the clerk initially refused but complied after the subject pulled back the slide of the gun in a motion of chambering a round and ejected a round onto the counter. The round ended up being recovered by police and matched the same caliber round that was found last time. On February 1st, an Old West tobacco store was also hit by a similarly dressed robber, but this time he left another clue. Some pink or red hair was actually peeking out of his ski mask, giving FBI agents another lead. The report goes on to state, after the money was placed into the bag, the subject took several boxes of cigars and then fled the store. Eventually though, a big break in the case came from a very unusual source. A tipster on Snapchat notified the Dearborn police they should check out an account called Chosen One. And when investigators started looking into the account, the name suddenly changed to Chosen World. And after a little more investigation, they discovered someone on TikTok that had the exact same name. In one video, he is dancing to a Pop Smoke song while wearing the very distinct white Nikes with red accents. On top of that, investigators noticed that he had also dyed his hair a very familiar shade of pinkish purple. Another video of him celebrating a tax refund was also allegedly posted the day before he robbed the 7-Eleven for a second time. And I mean, this just goes to show you that looks can be deceiving. Here is someone on TikTok with over 152,000 followers and 1.6 million likes out here robbing 7-Elevens and smoke shops. And after scanning police databases for his phone number, they eventually obtained a warrant to track his cell phone movement history. With that, the FBI concluded that the data was consistent with being in the geographic area of around the locations of the above described armed robberies around the reported times for each incident. And after raiding his home on Wednesday, they found all the items believed to be used in the armed robberies, including a black lock handgun, a black backpack with a floral pattern, a skeleton full body suit, and white Nike tennis shoes. And after interviewing him, the 22 year old ended up confessing. The officer writes in the report, he admitted to committing all four of the above described armed robberies and acknowledged using the black backpack with a floral pattern in all four of the armed robberies. He explained that skeleton gloves observed during the armed robberies were actually part of a full body skeleton suit. Terrell Hanna was arrested and charged with robbery affecting interstate commerce and possessing a firearm during a violent crime. If convicted, he could face more than 20 years in prison. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this though because that's all the time we have for today. So stay classy and I'll see you on the next one.